Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome to Stray Gods, the role-playing musical. Uh, this is a crowdfunded game. This was game was crowdfunded on Fig back when Fig existed, before Fig was bought out by... I don't necessarily remember who bought out Fig. I only recently learned that Fig was bought out. But I suppose that's the nature of of capitalism. Invent the thing that works well, sell it for big money to somebody else. But regardless of that, let's just focus on the Stray Gods part. Stray Gods is a role-playing musical from a lot of incredibly talented folk. Like, just clicking at the credits, like you've got Laura Bailey, Troy Baker, Felicia Day, Raul Cauley, uh, David Gator, one of the writers of Dragon Age. This is one of the... This, these are all reasons why I uh, backed this uh, back in the day, back in 2019 when I had a little bit more expendable cash on me. Um, but now, after four years, it is out. Let us see how this roleplay musical is. Based on my understanding of it, this is going to be a little bit... This seems like it's a little bit closer to a visual novel. Except your choices not don't just affect the direction of the story, they also affect the direction of the music as it's playing. So, we will see what path I happen to choose in New Game Slot 1. From our team all across the world, enjoy the show. This game was made on stolen ground. We would like to acknowledge the Warren. I, I apologize. I'm very sorry for my awful, awful pronunciation. Maybe I shouldn't even try and butcher these names. Um, Wurundjeri and Boon Wurrung peoples of the Kulin Nation and the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Sovereignty was never ceded. This game was also built on Treaty 6 territory and a traditional meeting ground and home for many indigenous peoples, including Cree, Salto, Nisitapi, Metis, and Nakoda So. Hmm. I was not aware of uh, the Native American uh, development or, or the its presence developing on Native American land. Shall we look at content warnings? No. Not because I feel like you should ignore content warnings. Um, they are important for a reason. They are just not necessarily as important towards me as me, personally. But there's no nothing wrong with having them available in the first place. Begin game! Act 1. Four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma. And where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there. If they'd show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning? Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. Hey, we should consider that. We could be the Naked Band, coming soon to a really private auditorium near you. You know, somehow I believe you'd actually do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with a hard no. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me you around. You say a lot of things. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? 
I know you've been kind of loose ends since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> She is the best. You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> right. I just wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, hey, <laughs> don't, don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I feel I just, like a musical about I musicians is fit. kind of like a I think a writer you. writing about writers. You know that, right? Like it's a little yeah. bit too on the nose. Like you don't have to make a musical about musicians. You coming? Um. I mean, I suppose it's an easy longer. in, an easy explanation for home. why people are singing. Because the entire idea of a musical is still, is always going to be a little bit odd. Because, like, why would somebody just suddenly start belting out in the middle of a conversation? I didn't mean to interrupt, I just... I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope. You... You have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Hmm... I don't know. Let's hear okay. it, though. Did you uh, bring an instrument or some music? I don't you hear that ethereal piano in the background? <laughs> All right. Well. With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue grief from all the promises too many dreams unsung all the steps i didn't take and paths proved untrue is there any path through like a boat lost at sea oh i'm about to oh, Is there a band looking for more vocalists? Um, 
Oh, all right, here we go. Sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem. This grace is sneakier, smarter, and witty. In your face, this grace is very punk rock. And not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for. This grace with soul and charisma. She tries to do the right thing, and everyone likes her more for it. You know... I feel that I will want to go this route. Also, I was uh, something else I was thinking about while they were singing their duet. Um, like, I feel like the entire, like, let's play commentary thing um, does not necessarily work quite so well during cutscenes. And if technically your game is a non-stop cutscene because you're always, their characters are always doing something, they're always vocalizing and singing, like... You're, you don't want to interrupt that. And I've already made fun of um, music YouTube. Like, you can pause the game. You can pause it at any time. But I've already made fun of um, music YouTuber uh, reactors because of how they constantly are pausing songs as they listen to them. Because it's like, when you think about how people react to music, when it comes to reacting to music, people usually listen to a song, they, they start playing the song, and then they, they, they finish the song. But because of copyright reasons, a lot of music uh, on YouTube gets paused a lot. Um, some, of them, some of them pause more than others. Uh, I know one of them uses specifically live shows as opposed to music videos because those tend to not get uh, demonetized. But uh, even then, that person tends to pause a lot to the point in which like it feels like a lot of music reactions um like imagine it just kind of feels like they listen to 10 seconds of song they li like e maybe even that's too long they listen to only like six to ten seconds of song and then they stop it and then they're like can't you feel the desperation in his voice the desperation of that singular moment that this singer is trapped in. You know, you can feel that he has one shot, one opportunity to capture the moment because he says it in the lyrics. And that drama raises the tension for the song right at the beginning. Let's listen to the next five seconds to see how the story really changes. Besides that point, Charming. Let us try our... Like, I feel like... Sneakier... Uh, like, I'm not trying... To... To screw somebody over. Kick ass. I'm not bold enough. But I want to do the right thing. Maybe if I leaned upon friends raise the alarm I'll call for them do I have the heart oh, and her spotlight shifts me safe from harm wow what was that your song was just so wonderful I had to finish it with you I hope that's all right I also know what it feels like to be lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. Ah, but because I didn't pick the sneaky trait, that uh, that choice is no longer available to, <laughs> available to me. How do I save my game? Okay. It probably saves right there. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. That was... I've never experienced anything like that before. I'd be surprised if you had. What was that? It felt like... The music was everywhere, like it was coming from inside me. It always has, Grace. Just as it was when I walked in. May I ask you why you feel so adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is 
just beginning. See, I don't feel adrift. I feel anchored and stuck there. Good times. Good times. It would sound stupid. <laughs> Try me. Well... I'll write fluffy pink school, jacket. because I didn't feel like I belonged there, but I still haven't found my place. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Shouldn't I have figured this out by now? Those are good questions to ask. I should go. Whatever you say, Commander Shepard. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Great. See you then. David Django. <laughs> Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... Calliope? I didn't know where else... I'm so sorry, Grace. That was fast. Like, I knew the plot involved about her, uh, was around her Calliope getting murdered. But we went straight from, maybe we'll see each other sometime. I guess this turned out to be some time. I'll get help. Oh, God. You're hurt. I'll get help. No. No. You have to wait. You can't go. I didn't want to do this to you. I... Not like this. Not like I'm this. I'm so, so sorry. Not like this. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Bonus points if you know what that's from. Please. Please, come on. See, now you're just going to get blood in your hair. Um, who are you? Oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. Ah, uh, thanks, Hermes. I... Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. We need help. I think she's dead. We need help. You need to call someone. Or... Well, I'm someone. I got called. Happens every time one of us dies, you know? <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. It sucks, but, you know. But who? The chorus? <laughs> the who? No, not the who. The chorus will want to talk to you. The chorus? You mean the authorities? Are they coming? The I authorities? The but they're not coming here. We have to go to them. Like, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm going to explain real quick, but then you got to come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. 
Surprise, right? With me so far? Cool. Let's go. Can I wash my hands first? There's blood on them. <laughs> the cookie platter really uh, completes the ensemble. Uh, where are we? Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Like, I, I told you already, hey, I've got blood on my hands. Back. I'll just be spreading blood everywhere. Okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here and, uh, not touch anything. I'm not even gonna eat a cookie. Or two cookies. Or three cookies. Or all of the cookies. Although I, I guess sometime in between uh, arriving and now we have washed our hands. Using the magical power of cutscenes. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm? <laughs> Our beloved sister, the last of the muses, has passed on to As you, our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? Is this the voice of, uh, Felicia Day? So Calliope is really dead. Even if she's a... A god? Yeah, a, a god. Hmm. Yes, we call it passing on, but yes, sadly, it happens even to us. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. And you just live here and... Right, and you live here. Not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now, fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with I the mean, times, I mean, of Grace. course. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too, and an idol. An that American is true. idol. That, that Which is that technically true. Went into me. We call it an eidolon, the part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol, which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason. You're here, Grace. The reason why we made you wait so long while we debated is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. You want me to die? But, but that isn't fair! I know, I know, but consider it from our point of view. A dear sister, 
someone who traveled with us through the ages, gone. So then who I didn't killed do her? It. Aren't you supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Can't you see this isn't right? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. Yeah, she died bleeding in my arms. <laughs> oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we should- We should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end, yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. They are all coming off as a little guilty. This isn't justice! If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. And we handle all of our discussions Did with music. Please listen. Although I suppose this is where the entire idea of like musicians being the you central core. Have you served a muse? It goes no back into the traditional musical. To be arranged, but it's unfair. I know, but our laws cannot be changed. But she came to me. Didn't you just say you have to be flexible with the times? There are simple rules. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she You must know. Us. I didn't do it. Is it weird this isn't song? Now <laughs> that the muse is gone. At the very least, she notes gone. that. No, refrain. Justice won't be I disagree. Oh. Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? And what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Okay, oh, so he wasn't the one I who did it. Agree. If he's this asking was for justice, what would you have us do? Investigate? We need to find the truth. There has to be some way to find the truth. Aren't you gods? Couldn't a god, if, I don't know. Magic? God up something? We aren't seriously considering this. Can't I at least have Very a cookie? Well, this one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. How do I prove my innocence? Wait, wait I I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some direction? You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial, if you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then. Oh, our original verdict stands. How do I find the killer? Can someone explain to me just how I'm supposed to find the truth? I'm not a detective. I don't know anything about the idols. Well, that's for you to figure out. Oh, uh, thanks. Say that. How did I know you were going to say that? We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. They probably wouldn't believe Do not them. harm another idol. 
Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer, if they exist. Thanks. Can I have a cookie? Welcome, dear sister. Um, And do help yourself to a cookie. Yes! I will take one. (laughs) Oh, I wasn't able to choose a cookie. Alright, we've got a journal. Freddy, I only call her Farishta when I'm visiting her house. Her mom always makes these deep-fried honey snacks I love. Has been my best friend since... Oh, since probably forever. We used to make up rhymes while we skip rope. It's been that long. We've come a long way from those days. Edge of Elysium is her band. And inviting me in was her idea. I was keen on joining since I haven't seen Freddy much since I left school, but it's been kind of rough going. I can sing, sure. But, and when we get a gig, it feels good being up there on stage, but is this really my thing? I don't know. Alright, I guess now I've got a better idea as to what that intro section was, uh, with the auditions, and why Freddy was, like, so excited to be up front and center, while everybody else was kind of in the background. Like, Freddy's the leader of the band. I know Calliope was one of the muses. Is that the same as being a god? But that's really about it. I don't know where she lived, what she got up to, or who her enemies were. I have so many questions. For one, what was she doing when she found me at the gymnasium? Was she just passing by, or did she plan that? How did she know where I lived? I keep thinking about Calliope, about what Calliope said to me before she died. She seems so sad. Did she know this was going to happen? Most of all, why did she pick me? Hermes is the idol who came to collect me at my apartment when Calliope died. I don't know their name at the time. Of course, Athena only mentioned who they were afterwards. I guess they're the god of... doorways, maybe? I wonder if they can go anywhere with that power, into bank vaults on top of the mountain, across the world? Pretty wild to think about. Could Hermes have been involved in Calliope's death? They seemed surprised, if not really broken up about it. Not that Hermes strikes me as someone who does much deep thinking. They seem more like a kid, although I guess looks can be deceiving. Why did they have to come when Calliope died? And they did right away, too. Kinda sus, if you ask me. I'm way too old to be saying sus. Aphrodite is the goddess of love, and I can believe it. She has that sparkle when you look at her, like she's one of those old-timey movie stars, all glamour and presence. I bet if she walks into a room, everyone stops what they're doing to stare at her. Why she's part of the chorus, I have no idea. She seemed kind of quiet and sad, like she's busy writing some teary ballad in her head and not really listening to what's going on around her. If Aphrodite's behind Calliope's death, then she hides it super well. Maybe you just naturally learn how to be a great actress after a thousand years or so. How would I know? Apollo, voiced by Troy Baker. I don't know much about this Apollo. He's the only guy on the chorus, but he didn't say much of anything until he kind of defended me, I guess. At least he disagreed with the you need to die verdict. I guess I owe him one if I actually owed anyone for giving me an extra week before they kill me. Not so sure about that. Athena introduced Apollo as the god of prophecy, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. I wonder if that's also why Apollo didn't say anything until that moment. Uh, As the god of prophecy, he didn't see uh, or glimpse the future until that moment in time and realized, no, we actually have to go down this other path. Don't prophets wear long robes and speak in big, booming voices? This one looks less like a god and more like a surfer who crashed on the beach after a party and still hasn't found all of his clothes. Could he have killed Calliope? I can't take anything for granted when it comes to these people. The fact that he's trying to defend you, it it kind of makes me want to lean to the idea that Apollo didn't do it. Right now, personally, I think Athena did it. She's all murder so far. Very polite and murdery. Athena is supposed to be the goddess of wisdom, but how does that work? Is it a power of hers? Does she just know things? She's supposed to be really powerful, but how exactly? Mostly she just seemed like my mom, or anyone's mom. Maybe that's what she is to the idols, the mom who looks after them and keeps them going. She was all smiles and was even super sweet when she told me I had to die, like it would be no big deal. 
that makes her a scary mom, like the kind that demands to speak to the manager when things don't go her way. Because things always go her way. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe she's the cool mom, or maybe she'll keep smiling while she smothers me with a pillow because she's thousands of years old and I'm basically nothing in comparison. And maybe she killed Calliope and that makes me an annoyance because that means her murder didn't quite take. But then, why give me the chance to prove myself? Um, she got voted down. Like, she didn't really... Like, she got pushed towards that. If she really wanted me dead, she couldn't she have just said, Nope, no vote. Let's nip this in the bud. Athena really seems like the type who'd do that, right? Idols are so confusing. And then finally, Persephone. What did Athena say about Persephone? She's qu the queen of the underworld? I had to look it up, but that's basically the idol version of hell. Does that mean it's a real place, like you die and you go to the underworld? Or maybe that only happens to idols? Mind you, Athena didn't exactly say Persephone was the queen of the underworld, did she? She said once the queen of the underworld, so she isn't any longer. And she is also the only idol that Athena didn't say was the god of something or other. I'm willing to bet there's a whole story about that. Oh yeah, um, th there's plenty of story. I admit my knowledge of Greek mythology is entirely limited to video games. Um, everything that I've learned about Greek mythology, I've learned it from God of War, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Hades. So, uh... Whatever it is, it's pretty clear that per this Persephone hates me, and not just because she thinks I'm a murderer. Because don't they all think that? It feels personal. Those sharp eyes of hers want to gut me and hang me on a clothesline, so I'd better watch my back. Well, let's go to Grace's apartment. Maybe we will find clues. Maybe Hermes is still there. We have inherited the legacy of the last muse. Oh, hey, Freddy. Do you know what happened? Grace. Uh, hi. 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace. We thought something happened to you. Well... Did something happen to you? See, this is kind of odd because it's like her first story is, can I lean on my friends for help? But now it's like, I can't tell them I became a god. When you got home, there wasn't a body here? No blood or anything? A body? What do you mean, like a dead body? Yeah. A woman named Calliope. She she showed up and she was... Bleeding? <laughs> and dead? We're gone all night. Why didn't you okay. answer your phone? I was calling and calling. This wasn't some hookup, was it? Because, you know, you can say it's none of your business, Freddy. It was not a hookup. It was definitely not a hookup. I'm allowed to say that much, I think. Allowed to say? Like you're a secret spy? Have you been a secret spy this whole time? Because if you have, that's pretty cool. Hi there. Uh, uh, okay, so you both, you can see him too. Why does he have horns? Uh, another one of the gods, I'm guessing. Another one of the what and the who now? To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns. Because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? As for who I am, I have been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? 
But he's some kind of cosplayer? <laughs> the days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. Playing this game reminds me that I probably should idol. watch I the musical Hades Town. Or perhaps two. If I ever get the opportunity. You do look lost, don't you? How can you help? Help me how exactly? And, and why? We've never even met. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now how would one acquire friends if one never made an effort to meet strangers? Yeah, but... As for the help I can offer, plenty. Unless you feel you can find the murderer on your own. I mean, you could do that. Maybe. Weird. Possibly. Murderer? Wait, there's a murderer? Uh, Grace? I told you there's a dead body. It's okay, Freddy. I think. Or uh, maybe it's just easier to say there's nothing you can do to help. How is that supposed to make me feel better? What is going on, Grace? I told you, dead body! The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. Okay, we, we were talking for... Did it really need That's three it? hours? Huh? Did that really take three yes. hours to explain? Do you believe in this, Grace? Okay, what would have been a really hilarious gag is if, like, the camera slowly zoomed on the clock and you have the minute hand... And, it, and the minute hand just kind of, like, shifts over five minutes and then it zoomed back. Like, I think that would have been funnier. And probably still consistent because, like, not much has happened. We don't need to spend more time explaining what happened than what it took to actually see it happen. Uh, I had proof. This is true. I hope it's all a dream. Can't change that. You know, I'm... Taking it one slow breath at a time. It's been a long night. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. Thank you. You are the best. What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch period, dummy. Oh yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye. It truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. <laughs> I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. How did you know about me? Seems rather convenient, you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not gonna tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. What's in it for you? So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My Working pro bono? Girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. Um, how do I know you're not the killer? You know, you could be the killer, for all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! <laughs> to be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas, and alas, 
and the last. <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. All right, so tell me your advice. Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally... Especially since the body isn't even here anymore. Lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? Music, art, passion. You are the last muse. And all these are now your province. The chorus did start singing. When I was talking to Athena and the others, they all started singing. Does that mean... <laughs> that was me? Let me guess. Music swelled as if from nowhere. Lips quivered. Souls were laid bare. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that was you. Okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's Because she got upset. Me to Her eyes glowed. The and then people started singing. Now then. Close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's a-wasting. Okay, I noticed there's a little bit of a pause between when I clicked it and when the choice actually activated. Like, the timer is just kind of... I don't follow. Are those really actual horns? And the singing is so hard to swallow. Can you hear me, Grace? What's going on? about powers he could be dangerous what do you think sing it freddy i hear you we've only just met now he's my new best friend now i'll owe him a favor and what will he want in the end <laughs> you're lucky i got to you there's people out there who will come for you i heard that you're making so much ado you're lost and I'm trying to help Lost girls, lost girls You all love your lost girls A rescue that you can take home I'm so glad I found you Wolves all around you But can you survive on your own? What do I do then? Whatever you wish power is yours. Grace, I'm frightened. It's okay, Freddy. I got this. What's a, what's a trip? A, a three-person? <laughs> I never knew I had that in me. Who's making this happen? This isn't a game. You don't understand. This has all gotten out. Nothing for grace will ever be the same Lost girls, lost girls You all love your lost girls You know, if you're gonna expect your friends to stand up for you You've gotta stand up for your friends Just being silly. 
Maybe the muse isn't feeling the gravity. Or do you refuse and, like ostriches, happily stick your heads in the sand? Grace, I could be your right hand. Freddie, you better leave her alone. Let me do what I do or she'll sink like a stone. Lost girl, lost girl, I know I'm not a lost girl, but this is all new and I don't know what to do. Should I stay with my bestie? <laughs> this goat's getting testy. Won't be lost on my own. I'll I'm gonna choose Freddy. Freddy Sorry seems like the easy choice. Can, but I'm not abandoning my best friend. That? That's your choice. Humdrum mortality. How about I was a humdrum mortal her, instead of those who want to use her? Oh my, such drama. No matter how you employ it, Grace, this is the power of a muse. Drawing out that which lies within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your... In so essentially you can get a killer to reveal that they did something because they have, you've pulled it out of their heart, so to speak. I'll make them sing a song of confession. <laughs> exactly so. But only if they did it, right? I draw out the truth, not make them lie or do something they wouldn't. Oh, you will be a natural at this, I can tell. Amuse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. Look, Creepo. Grace already told you to take a hike. So she did. Allow me to get to the point, then. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address. In the city. Where Calliope was staying, I do believe. I don't need you to come with me for that. You could have led with... You should have led with that. All right. Her address? Thank you, that's perfect. Thank you. Now this, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. <sighs> all right, all right. Ah, that's perfect. We can look for clues there. What this Calliope was doing, who her enemies were. I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose, no? Uh, then I'll definitely need backup. You'll be fine. After all, what's a mortal to do that you cannot? Punch I, them? I, I can speak Hindi. Okay, fine. I get it. I need to find Kaz and Brian. Just tell them you're okay. If uh, not the other stuff. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. Oh. So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta. Hmm. All right. Anything we can add? There we go. Freddy was at the apartment when... Pa oh, by the way, I I might as well finish a point I started. So I was... In previous games, when you have choices that define the direction of the story, when you make a choice, it often interrupts the action that's going on. Um, like... And consider The Walking Dead as an example. There might be a character who's talking to you and you, you're presented with a couple different options. And that character will be talking to you for a little bit up until the last point where you can make that ch choice. And whenever you make that choice, it interrupts the dialogue right then and there. Um, that person is no longer going to finish whatever dialogue that they were going to say. But in this case, um, there are specific points of intersection where the choices separate, uh, change the direction of the music, uh, where the 
kind of back and forth between um, Grace and Pan switched over to the duet of Lost Girls. Which is still interesting, but it also gives a little bit more structure to how the music is designed. Freddy was at the apartment when Pan arrived, so I had to tell her everything. Part of me feels bad for getting her involved, but I have to admit, none of this felt quite real until I did. If anyone can figure this out, she can. Greek mythology has been her thing since 7th grade, and I'm glad she was there to back me up during the song with Pan. When we put our heads together, we can handle anything. It appears Calliope was staying in an apartment, one that belongs to Persephone of all people. Hmm, were they seeing each other? And it's actually not too far from mine. Could that be where Calliope was attacked? Am I crazy for agreeing to go check it out by myself? Yeah. And I don't think we have anything new to add about all of those. I'm back the morning after going through the ringer, after having just discovered I'm some kind of ancient muse. And guess who shows up at my apartment, uninvited, poking around the kitchen like he's considering an investment? The idol's name is Pan, and I don't know what his deal is. He's a bit too smooth, seems to know a bit too much that he isn't saying, and just happens to know where to point me, which he offered for a price, of course. This one's shady, folks. I can just guess what kind of favor he's going to want. All right. I think I'm going to stop here for the night. So far, so good. I love it. We'll carry on next time. For now, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.